Good morning, Coffee County. I'm Matthew Bloomquist. And I'm Emma Jones. Today we've got some interesting news about yet another scientific phenomenon, a quote-unquote Red Sea pancakes and a trip down Disco Lane. <laughs> You may have heard of the spotless giraffe born in Bright's Zoo here in Tennessee, but recently another spotless giraffe has been found in the wild. The calf was spotted in a reserve in Africa with its mother. A tour guide was able to snap only a few photos of it. The last seen spotless giraffe was found over 40 years ago, but with the last two appearances in the past few months, this discovery has begun to make scientists question how rare spotless giraffes truly are. In other news this week, a town in Portugal was suddenly flooded with over 500,000 gallons of wine. The large amount of wine has been stored at a nearby distillery when out of nowhere, an abrupt burst of two wine tanks caused this river of wine to flood the streets of the town. The company responsible for this incident apologizes to the people for the inconvenience, pledging to pay for the cleanup costs. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the incident, but the initial cause of the tanks bursting is still unknown. Well, 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 there's wine in the streets, but no need to wine in your seats, because Cole Fowler is coming up next with your Sports Minute. John is a smart kid. He has good friends, friends he wants to see again. So John drives responsibly. He silences his phone when he drives, and always remembers to wear his seatbelt. He stops at red lights and goes when they turn green. He keeps his music low so he can hear his surroundings. Paul, on the other hand. Thank you, Matthew. I'm Cole Fowler bringing you the Sports Minute. This Friday, our football team plays home against Paige. Last week, our football team played against Siegel. They had a rough start, but fought with everything to the end. The defense played fantastic, only allowed 21 points to Siegel, compared to the average of 48 points. Speaking of the defense, all eyes are on a specific player, Caden Warren. He played great defense as well, leading up with four catches, all ending up with 49 yards. Let's go Raider Nation! Former NFL player Deion Sanders has completely flipped the script for Colorado Buffalo's football team. They went 2-0 this season. Compared to last season, they went 1-11. So let's tune in for this great season upcoming. Don't forget, today's theme for the football game is Hawaiian. So make sure you grab your lays and have a great time. Next up is August with the weather. I'm tired of my bank. I want to go somewhere that's better. Well, you know First Vision Bank can make it easier than ever. They can give you cash back on your everyday needs. And if you use a different ATM, they reimburse the fees. Wow, wow that's great. G, thank you for the tip. Please, you don't have to thank me. Anyone can make the switch. If you're tired of your bank, don't let them treat you badly. Go to First Vision Bank right across the road from Zaxby's. Thank you, Cole. We're having a pretty good week temperature-wise, but unfortunately there are some moderate chances of rain in a few days, so let's take a look at the forecast. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 80 and a low of 61. Saturday has a 30% chance of rain showers and a 50% chance for thunderstorms. Saturday night has a 40% chance for thunderstorms and then a 40% chance for some rain. Saturday will also have a high of 80 and a low of 60, and it will be mostly sunny. Sunday is going to be mostly sunny but has a 20% chance for rain showers. Sunday also has a high of 79 and a low of 55. Monday is sunny with a high of 81 and a low of 55. Tuesday will also be sunny with a high of 82 and a low of 59. This being said, you may want to stay indoors this week, but I know that my fellow fall lovers are getting just as exciting as I am. Up next is Steven with his weekly Florida Man story where a man and his friends hang something unexpected off the side of a bridge. This is Stacy and Chad. They're in their last year in high school. They just found out that Stacy is pregnant. And Stacy is in the 30% of teen mothers who will not finish high school. And she will go through this alone because Chad is one of the eight of 10 teen fathers who are deadbeat. Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? You just gotta remember to ask, do you want fries with that? 
You are also one of the 25% of teen mothers who will have another baby. I didn't ask for this. Actually, you did. Thanks, August. Now for your Florida Man Minute. This week we have another crazy Florida man. Jason Brown and three other men were seen on June 10th hanging swastika flags from a bridge near Orlando. The police have been after them ever since and were just now able to catch Jason. The other three are still on the loose. One of the hardest parts about catching them is that their identities are completely unknown. Many laws have been placed to stop hate crimes and the destruction of property, but they're just now being put to their full potential. James was effectively rediscovered September 2nd when he was seen waving anti-Semitic flags outside of Disney World. This wasn't a punishable offense but he was, uh, because he didn't destroy anything, but it did alert the police to his location, and he was quickly caught. Hate crimes have increased 11% since 2020 when they were at a historic high, and now they're even worse. These terrible acts aren't limited to Florida, and they need to be stopped. As always, I'm Steven, and this has been your Florida Man Minute. What's this bottle and what the, this shirt? How did I get here? Jackson, you're at work out any time. A new gym with state-of-the-art equipment. Keep your squats low and your standards high, because it's open 24-7. Now you're getting it. Complete with massage chairs, padding beds. I love work out any time. Work out any time. Your fitness, your schedule. Thank you, Steven. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Steven. Homecoming is approaching fast. It'll be on the 22nd, so you will be sold for the dance from September 11th to the 21st. Tickets will only be sold during homeroom, so make sure you go and purchase them. And don't forget about the dress-up days. Monday is Make Your Mark Monday. Wear neon. With Tune Tuesday, dress up as your favorite artist. Then with Wacky Wednesday, wear mismatch clothing. And through the decades, Thursday, dress up as your favorite decade. Finally, Fantastic Friday, dress head-to-toe in your Raider gear. Can't wait to see all you Raider fans dress up and ready for homecoming. All right, and now into some more delicious news. Who likes pancakes? Because I sure do. This weekend on the 16th, a pancake breakfast is being held for a cause at the Mercantile Cafe. For only $12, you can come and support the, the Imaginary Library and a local foundation for purchasing books for children. To purchase a ticket, you can reach out for the Facebook page at the Imaginary Library of Coffee County. Hope to see y'all there. You can for sure count me in. Well, that brings us into the... Uh, to the end of today's news. Remember to have a good day and come back on next week on Raider TV.